So, uh, a couple mistakes I made. I had the box below a little bit too close to um, that paver there. So, bees were actually traveling across that. Um, why is that a problem? Well, it could be a big mistake. It could be a big problem if... Um, if the queen walked across that back into here. So, so yeah, not sure about how I want to handle that, uh, but I'm going to have to find out. Worst comes to worst, I'm going to check in probably tomorrow morning, look for the queen when they get a little bit more organized. Uh, and if I don't see the queen in there, I'll quickly rush in there and see if I can get the queen and put her in here. That's the only thing I can think of to do. Um, there's a significant ball on the outside here I notice and there's a ball formed here I would venture to guess that the queen is somewhere inside this ball underneath here okay but there's a significant amount of bees and there's a lot of fanning in here if you listen quietly you can hear the fanning there's also a bunch of fanning up front too, so again, I'm not 100% sure how to handle this one. So I think I, I made a mistake. I doubt the queen is over here. Uh, I would venture to guess that she is in that ball right there somewhere. And uh, she'll be on that frame tomorrow, probably laying eggs, but we'll see. We will see. Anyhow, they're forming a nice little ball on this here. Kind of looking to see if I can see the queen, but it did happen exactly as they said that he, they would the bees would go under the board and hang. All right, so I hived that swarm. They're inside this colony. It came out to be what looks about six or seven frames of bees, so a little bit smaller than I had thought, more like a four pound swarm or something that's just a guess but uh, one of the things about waiting for an hour or two is a lot of those bees end up flying back into the old hive as foragers so let's take a peek at the old hive now still lots of activity there and uh, their brood will hatch out they'll make honey sadly we killed a couple bees in the process but uh, that's part of beekeeping you don't try but you do sometimes anyway so this is it so i moved the queen from here over to here i really didn't want to put any more bees on these stands here but uh i'm gonna have to thin these out i need to sell some colonies but uh so this is them right here i will get a an excluder not an excluder a reducer on that I'll let them settle down for a little bit and get organized. Tomorrow morning, I'll go in there and make sure the queen's in there. And uh, all should be well. So that's it. Have a great day. Follow up on this swarm. So I'm going to go looking for the queen just to make sure since I made that minor mistake. But uh, very interesting to me. I left these frames very wide apart here. And look, there was a line of bees right there in that spot right there. It's almost like they were going to try to fill that in. So push your frames together. Oh, give me a second. Frame. That queen. And there she is walking around on the frame. There's our queenie. She looks really good. And we'll just button this thing up and uh, leave them alone. I got some feet on them. And uh, I probably won't touch them for maybe a week maybe two weeks we'll come back and look and i bet you they'll have this box drawn out and uh probably three four frames of brood already we'll check on them then take care